Oh, yeah, you okay. So this is a first uh, vid for the first lesson on integration. Integration is the, the reverse of differentiation. It's the opposite of it. So if you differentiate something, you can go back by integrating it. Uh, it looks like it's about five lessons on it. There's quite a few different chunks there. So we'll see how much we get through what, what seems sensible in one lesson. Right. So if we start off with y and differentiate it, we get dy by dx. So we go back um, from dy by dx back to y by integrating. So that's what that little blob there says. So we're differentiating. You put the power at the front and take one off the power. So we need to reverse the process. So if we can reverse the process, what we do is add one to the power and then divide by the new power. Now we're just going to jump back into differentiating for a second. And I've got a couple of different uh, curves all on top of each other. They're all like squared curves just moved up and down. Now then if I differentiate all of them, all of these get differentiated to 2x, which causes me a bit of an issue when I want to go back. Because if I want to go back, I can take the 2x back to the x squared. But I don't know what the constant is. I don't know what the number was. So I'll lose that information. And this is what this little bit here says. So the problem is when we differentiate, um, it disappears. The constant disappears. There. So we need to kind of, when we go back, when we integrate it, we've got to go back and say, okay, there could have been a number there, but I don't know what it is. So what we do is we put a plus C at the end, and that tells us that we've integrated, and we're aware that there's a number there that we need to, might need to work out. Oh, right, let's have a look at the next page then. So all of these are going back. So all this is saying is add one to the power. Divide by the new power. So if I add 1 to the 4, I get x to the 5, and then that's divided by 5 with a plus c on the end. The dy by dx has gone back to y. So there's one there for you to do. Then, similar idea, if I add 1 to the power, it's x to the minus 4, and then dividing by minus 4. Gives me that for the y. Now what I can do is rewrite it as a fifth x to the prime if I wanted to. That one I could rewrite as minus one over four x to the four if I wanted to. All right, let's have a look at this next one. So same idea, idea with a number. The number is just there. So if I add one to the power, it's x to the power four over 4, so I've integrated the x cubed, but then I have a 2 in front of it, so that'll cancel down as a half x to the 4, and don't get plus c's, and I've taken dy by dx back to 1. Yeah. So it's all these have got 1's for you to have a go at as well. Uh, next one, so I'm going to, I've got the 3 there as a number, then I'm going to add 1 to the power, so this time it's a power a half, so if I add 1, it becomes power 3 over 2. And then I divide by 3 over 2. But dividing by a fraction is the same as flipping it and times in it. So I've actually got a times by 2 thirds, which would give me the freezer cancel. Give me that. Don't forget your plus c's. Plus c shows we've integrated it. And I've taken dy by dx back to y. Same with differentiation, I can do each term separately. So I'm going to have 6 times by x squared over 2. So that's a 3x squared. I'm going to have 2 thirds of x to the minus 3 over minus 3. So that'll be minus 2 over 9 x to the minus 3. I'm going to put the x to the minus 3 on the bottom, couldn't I, if I wanted to. Minus 3 lots of x to the 3 over 2, over 3 over 2. 
So I think we've done that one, haven't we? Uh, so times by two thirds, the threes will cancel, minus two, x to the three over two. The two, remember, if you differentiate two x, it goes back to two. So if you integrate two, it goes to two x. Well, plus c. So if you have a number on the end, it just goes to that number with an x next to it. So that's a whole or page three done. Okay. What I might do is I might stop there and do another video.